Sodium carbonate and sodium bicarbonate are very similar but they have slightly different uses. Sodium bicarbonate is much easier to obtain and it can be easily found as baking soda. The most common use for sodium bicarbonate is in cooking and the most common use at home for sodium carbonate is for the production of soap. Luckily for people who can't find sodium carbonate, it can be easily made at home from sodium bicarbonate. So start off by weighing how much sodium bicarbonate you want to convert. In my case, I weighed out 250 grams. The pot was placed on the stove on medium to high heat. You will want to heat the bicarbonate to at least 200 C. At the beginning, before any change takes place, this is what the texture would look like. As the sodium bicarbonate heats up, it will start to release water and CO2. So due to the water, you'll notice that some clumping may start to occur. Soon you should see little geysers of CO2 gas and water being released. Because of all the gas that's being generated, it will puff up the baking soda, and when you stir it, it will look almost liquid-like. As you do this, eventually, the amount of gas that's being produced will start to decrease. Soon you'll notice that no more gases are being released. At this point, almost all of the sodium bicarbonate has been converted into sodium carbonate, but it's still just a little bit wet. So just keep heating it with occasional stirring. Eventually, the sodium carbonate ended up as a very dense powder. A lid is then placed on top to keep out the moisture as it cools. The final yield was about 150 grams of sodium carbonate, which is nearly quantitative.